do I let them through? This is meant you let you or new years. The black hole, the sun, and meditation, meaning your second chachara, has similarities. The similarities of the black hole and the sun equal into the second chakra in your meditation. The black hole and the sun is a it's their own capacitor. If the sun didn't wasn't his own capacitor, it would collapse on itself. If it needed some type of, if it needed some type of outside fuel to feel its power and energy and its growth, it will collapse or explode, or whatever. The black hole is very condensed. Condensed energy. Very condensed energy. And it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger by the second in the minutes. And it's rotating and rotating. Now, the similarities of the sun and the black hole to the meditation and the chakras, I'm about to tell you. <clears throat> when you meditate, your second chakra, where your capacitor is, remember, we are capacitors too. Every cell in our body is a nuclear fusion. It's like suns. It's like a bunch of little suns in our body and black holes. I mean, waiting to be greater like a black hole, you just have to have activate them. Make them condense, condense the energy, condense the electricity, the electric, I mean, the electromagnetic -ism. Condense it all. The force. The force of the cosmos, the force of the yin and yang, is what you see in the sun, is what you see in the black hole. When you meditate, the second chakra, you're condensing yin and yang together, and chi all in the center where your belly button at, behind your belly button. This is the way of the five gen explosive energy chi, how to gain force energy. Or the way the Jedi's or Magi's say. When you breathe in and out, you're condensing, you're bringing in the chi and condensing it, and condensing it more, like the black hole. Black hole is black hole is in one. This black hole is moving, but it seems like it's not moving. It's vibrating, and it's condensing and condensing and condensing and condensing. Same way as you meditate. You see, you're sitting there, but you're moving. It seems like you're not moving, but you're not. But you are. You're condensing, vibrating, condensing, condensing, and condensing. And sucking in energy. Imagine meditating as long as the sun or the black hole has been doing what it's supposed to do, gathering energy. That's what meditation is. Every time you meditate, you gather an energy. You regenerate. Like a big capacitor. You like a nuclear fusion. Gather energy from where? It's like the sun. From where? From the inside, deep within and elsewhere. Other dimensions. It's what they call quantum energy. Quantum gravity. And quantum, quantum gravity, and um, I think it's quantum um, energy or something. Yeah, so that's the similarities of the black hole and the sun with your second chakra. I was like, yeah, imagine meditating that long and being consistent that long, like the sun and the black hole. You will be. You can be as powerful as one. If so, if someone can reach that high, go high potential.
self-mastery is alone. So no one's willing to do it these days. Only a few ones like me. This is mention of the Rude Nujas. See you soon next time. Do one out of the